It's called System S, an IBM research project that promises to usher in a new era of computing. S stands for streaming, and it was big news around the world and here in New York City at an annual technology trade show staged by the Securities Industry and Financial Markets Association. Nagy Halim of IBM Research says thanks to years of work by what was at first a small team that now numbers about 70, System S is able to analyze many, many streams of data in real time, including video streams. One of the big breakthroughs was figuring out how to send different types of workloads to the computing hardware best suited to the task, such as having a cell broadband engine processor handle video streams. Well, that's actually an amazing piece of work, and the lead scientist for that and, and person who had the vision on how to accomplish this task was Joel Wolf. Uh, and Joel is really a very experienced mathematical researcher uh, and a very esteemed and senior member of the team. Uh, developed a very uh, novel and interesting way to deconstruct this problem into, into solvable problems, all of which together solve the bigger problem of uh, essentially very correct scheduling. So that's a very exploratory thing, but we're very confident that it will work. This is very different from current computing models where information is stored in a database first and then queried later. Kevin Pleiter of IBM's financial services sales team says System S is ideally suited to the financial services industry where milliseconds matter. Absolutely. I mean, in this, in this industry, a millisecond is no deal. Um, you not only talk about losing millions of dollars in a second, but the market opportunity that did exist will be gone if you are a millisecond too late. So by having the ability to take more data in and a, a richer set of data, we are now able to start correlating information which you would not otherwise have been able to correlate with existing systems. And this gives you an opportunity to start thinking about near-term events so you can actually start thinking about executing ahead of your market competitors who are looking backwards before they can execute. The next step is to work directly with clients to build the applications and ecosystems that will form the foundation of a powerful new way to turn streams, make that floods of data, into valuable information in fields as diverse as medicine, astronomy, and security. And then we'll continue to see invention. We'll see that uh, the things that we did uh, require um, additional invention to really work in practice, things that we don't expect. I mean, the analogy would be, you know, we had to have uh, credit reporting services when uh, people develop credit cards, and they probably didn't foresee that at first, right? But as things develop, you have uh, ancillary supporting industries that develop around the primary industry as well to make it all work. So I see lots of things happening. It could turn out to be a big business. But it is, it is speculation. Uh, we're not there. Um, but it's our job as IBM Research to, you know, start trying to create the future.